Welcome back, friends. Today we are making an easy cocktail, the Dark and Stormy. If you are out there making Dark and Stormies and you're using whatever rum you want, you could be in big trouble. It has to be a specific rum. And if it's not, this rum company could come after you or me if I show you how to make it with another rum. I am gonna show you how to make it with another rum, but I won't call it a Dark and Stormy because I don't wanna be sued. If you're new to the channel, Welcome aboard, we're happy to have you. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want more sips, tips, and recipes. Let's get on with it. To the bar. Okay, as I said, I will be making two cocktails. So for the standard dark and stormy, you really just need a jigger because we're gonna build this straight in the glass. Uh, but for my cocktail, I'm gonna be shaking up real quick. I've got my Boston shaker, Hawthorne strainer, and then I also have a knife for garnish. Also, you are going to need a glass. So. I've got two glasses here. This is a Collins, but if you have a highball, that's perfect. They're essentially the same thing, but the Collins is a little bit skinnier and taller. Pick your favorite glass, that'll do. Now, the Dark and Stormy was born in Bermuda in the years that followed the end of the First World War. Gosling's rum paired up with Barrett's ginger beer, two Bermudan companies, and they came up with the Dark and Stormy. Over the years, Barrett's and Gosling's had a falling out, so Gosling started producing their own ginger beer. So a lot of people think that it has to be made with Gosling's ginger beer. That's not what matters. What matters is the rum. And in 1991, they patented the Dark and Stormy so that you have to use their black seal dark rum or it can't be called a Dark and Stormy. And it is Dark and Stormy, not Dark and Stormy, just N. It's weird because sometimes you'll see it apostrophe N, apostrophe N, apostrophe, and apostrophe, and sometimes you'll just see an N. Nobody knows. The actual patent is apostrophe N, but the International Bartenders Association says apostrophe N, apostrophe. Who really cares? What matters is that you use Gosling's Black Seal Rum, which brings us to the booze. For the Dark and Stormy, the true Dark and Stormy, you're gonna need Gosling's Black Seal Rum and ginger beer. For the not dark and stormy at all, but some other rum concoction that I've come up with, you're gonna need dark rum, ginger beer, freshly squeezed lime juice, and allspice liqueur. This is just gonna be a float on top. It'll be delicious. For the dark and stormy, the rum I'm using is Gosling's Black Seal Rum, and the ginger beer is Barrett's Ginger Beer. For the not dark and stormy cocktail that I'm making, the dark rum I'm using is Hamilton 86 proof Demerara rum. The allspice liqueur is St. Elizabeth allspice dram. And the ginger beer is Bundaberg. Now let's build. So we are gonna start with the not dark and stormy, the cocktail that I am making. And then we are gonna build the dark and stormy in the glass, which is really easy because you can just read the back of the label. It's quite simple. But for the non dark and stormy, You'll want an ounce and a half of dark rum. And then one quarter of an ounce of your fresh lime juice. That's it. There's no sugar to add or anything because the ginger beer will be sweet enough. I'm gonna add ice and shake because that's, that's what I plan on doing. Yeah. I'm just gonna shake this for five seconds because I don't need to over dilute it. I'm gonna be pouring it over ice, so just to mix. That's good. Now we can put ice in our glass. Going all the way up there. Put ice in this glass too because we'll make these together. The Bunderbird, best name ever. Got this cool pull tab too, which I don't know. I like it. And then we can pour into the glass and top with the ginger beer. It'll be about four to five ounces of the ginger beer. Ooh. And then a little float of the allspice liqueur. This will be about half an ounce right on top. Now this one, this one is complicated. You're gonna take your Barrett's ginger beer, pour it into the glass about say five ounces, four or five ounces. I'm using the bottled ginger beer. Barrett's makes this in a 12 ounce can as well, but they are different. The bottle is cane sugar and the can is high fructose corn syrup. Not, not that it matters, just 
I like sugar over corn syrup. And then we're gonna put an ounce and a half of the Gosling's Black Seal Rum. So they look different. I'm gonna set them off here and make them a little garnish. For the dark and stormy, we're gonna do a lime wedge because if you have a wedge, it's easy to squeeze in. When I cut a wedge, I like to cut the little center pith away. It's just easier to squeeze. There we are. So the wedge is very practical, but for my not dark and stormy, I'm gonna do a wheel because I already have lime juice in there and I'm not needing to squeeze the lime juice in it. So I want something pretty. I think the wheel is pretty. Just like that. Now to grab some straws. There, we have the two. Dark and stormy and its illegal counterpart. It would be a, a buck, actually. A buck is a cocktail that is a base spirit and ginger beer or ginger ale. It also has to have citrus involved. Otherwise, it would be a form of highball. So technically, the dark and stormy is a highball. I'm going down a, a path. That's really good. And surprisingly, not too sweet or strong. Mm. Surprisingly similar, the allspice liqueur. That puts it over the edge, though. Oz, do you want to try one of these? Yes, I would. I'm going to give you this one first. Okay. This is the dark and stormy. Lime, optional. Enjoyment, mandatory. Enjoyment's mandatory. Uh, Very refreshing. Very good. It's yeah. Really good. Easy. Yeah, if I were sailing, I would drink a lot of these. I'm gonna put in... Oh, that helps. That helps big time. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're gonna make a dark and stormy, get yourself some limes. Here, try this one. This is the not dark and stormy at all. Mm. I, I do want to say enjoyment's not mandatory. It's optional. It's good. And I like the allspice in there. Yeah. We used the allspice recently in the lion's tail. If you did the lion's tail with us, you can use the allspice tram. See, it's not for waste. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified the next time a video comes out. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Joking. All right, bye everybody. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. You kids, get on. <laughs>